Next question is from Chai Latte. I find that my hands give in first during pull-ups, deadlifts, and some dumbbell exercises. Other than grabbing onto heavy weights, what are other ways to train grip strength? Oh, did you, did you see my uh, my post or my questions? Someone asked me that, and I referred to what Justin does. Oh, wait, what did you say? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, he, he straps ankle weights to his wrist when he masturbates. <laughs> uh, how did I know that you went there? That's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not like you at all, because it's the truth. That's yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you, like, you know me. I keep it real. You're not supposed to watch. Okay? That's something wrong with you. Uh, oh, wait yeah. a minute. That's, that's what I'm saying. Now, yeah. you know, um, so this, this for me was a big deal back in the day. Back in the day when I used to work out, I would wear wrist uh, straps. Wrist straps go around your wrist, and then they go around the barbell or the bar that you're pulling or the dumbbells. To help you hold on to them so that you could pull more weight, do more, you know, more weight on your movements or whatever. And I saw bodybuilders do them in magazines. So I did them for for a long time. And then I remember working out with somebody who followed my workout, didn't use any wrist straps, and not only was as strong as I was, but he had much nicer looking arms. He had very well developed forearms. And I thought, gosh, you know what? It's I don't think I could hang with this guy unless I had on my wrist straps. So I took the wrist straps, I threw them away. And from that day forward, I said, if I can't hold on to the weight, then I'm not going to lift mm-hmm. that weight. Mm-hmm. Now, here's what happened. I'm not going to lie to you. I had to go much lighter for a while. It took a while. But eventually, my hands caught up, and now my hands are strong enough, if not stronger, than the rest of my body. Now, we're humans. We're, we're, we're part of the primate species or whatever, um, category of animals. We're supposed to have really strong, strong, strong hands. Yeah. We're not supposed to be able to lift things with other muscles that our hands can't hold on to. I think we just baby the hell out of our hands. So yeah. number one, obviously don't wear wrist straps. But if you're not wearing wrist straps and you're having a problem with this, what I think you should do is dedicate maybe 10 minutes at the end of two or three of your workouts to grip-specific exercises. There's a couple that I love doing. One is I like to hold a plate. I like to use a pinch grip. Pinch grip, yeah. Where I, I, I use just my fingertips and my thumb or my fingers are, are flat in my thumb. And I hold a weight just like that for static uh, tension. The other one that I like to do are heavy reverse curls, thumbless. So I put my thumb over the bar, monkey grip. I do reverse curls. That works the top of my forearm, but it also strengthens my grip to have to hold onto the bar. Mm -hmm. Just do those at the end of your workout for a few sets, maybe two or three days a week. That should give you the extra volume your hands need. We have some pretty cool exercises that we uh, highlighted around strengthening your hands and your grip in in our OCR program. And one of them is like really unconventional, but cheap to do is to buy uh, a bucket and put rice uh, in there and to oh, right. to, go, to go through all these like rice bucket drills where your your hand is is going all the way down towards the bottom and it's pushing uh, the the rice away by splaying out your your fingers and then grabbing and gripping it as hard as you can and then splaying it out and so we go through various drills with that and it really does make a difference man my hands were were fatigued and uh you know i could really feel uh them being worked going through that part of it and then there's also tons of other ways that sal mentioned the pinch grip we have that in terms of like doing farmer walks with a pinch grip or just uh hanging from the bar so there's options like that i was just going to refer to so i recently um I've been because I have been having shoulder issues, and I think a lot of that is due to having Max and holding Max all the time like this, oh. and him getting heavier. And as much as I'm, I'm just not used to that, and my shoulders all roll forward, and so I'm getting all these issues. And one of the things that I've been doing to actually do that is, before I start my workout or when I end it or whenever I can grab a bar, like we have one here in in the garage, I jump on it every now and then, and just do dead hangs. And one of the things that I'm noticing, even though I'm doing this for my shoulders, because that's great for like good shoulder health, right? It's like a, oh, great, yeah. a, a great exercise for those of you that are, are looking for good shoulder health is to do d- dead hangs and just kind of hang there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what I'm finding is my grip strength in my, my forearms are getting like these massive pumps. And I think about what Sal always talks about with trigger sessions and, you know, and how to work up like with pull-ups and things like that. Like here's a great thing to do is go do a dead hang on a bar, time yourself to see when you when you give out, and then just you know frequently do that as much as you can throughout the day. If you have a bar or a, a, a two by four or a tree branch or something that you can just grab and consistently hang from, and just like challenge yourself to add five more seconds, add ten more seconds, you'll be blown away on how fast. Yeah, your you can work up to now. If you don't normally do this, you got to be careful for overtraining, but you can work up to a tremendous amount of volume 
for your hands and your forearms. A tremendous amount of volume. Like I got to the point where I was doing judo or jujitsu training, which is very grip intensive, three, four days a week. Then on top of it, I was training my forearms three or four days a week and not wearing wrist straps and my hands and forearms were fine. You can work up to a tremendous amount of volume. And I tell you what, strong hands, strong grip will improve not just your back exercises, but your pressing movements as well. Mm -hmm. That strong wrist, that strong grip posi position when you bench press or overhead press, very important to your overall strength. If you don't believe me, next time you bench press, put like uh, knee wraps around your wrist to give you support and see how strong you feel. Now, what if you could do that naturally, right? So this is an important thing I think a lot of people should train. We were just talking about map strong earlier. Map strong will work the shit out of your grip. Oh yeah, that'll make you. That'll give you some crazy strong hands. Really, really strong hands are important for strong men. So some of the exercise in there challenge the hell out of your grip, like the snatch grip, high pulls, like that makes your that puts your forearms on fire.